Welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. It's time to go ahead and continue with our 1616 adventure. Or we could just call it one, but I'm thinking it's 16 of 16. Uh, we got to talk to the Atlas again. Are these search? Sure, I'll search it. What the hell, man? Warp cell? Okay. Are you going to give me on this? Oh, warp cell. I'll take it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Atlas, you're pretty good. The Crimson Eye. Yes, yes, okay, okay, I'll interact. Hello, hello world, again. <laughs> okay, okay, that shouldn't crack me up from the programming. All right, here we go. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Demand an audience, oh hell no. We'll just say hello. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The inner face grows still and silent. Yeah, let's initiate the personality interface. Oh boy. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. Uh, yeah, let's just submit to it. Let's go along for the ride. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Oh, how cool. Well, keep submitting. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. The universe is a simulation. Ooh. Uh, 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 nothing is real. No, it, even if it is a simulation, it is still a real simulation. So let's go here. I, I feel uh, defiant sadness. Oh, I don't want to be sad. I'm not anger, angry. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go with sadness. Everything I have ever done, every star I have seen, every planet I have discovered, none of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey, it was just a lie. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of not as machine, how it felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. Atlas, traveler. Did my worlds please you? Oh, yes, they did, definitely. What do you think you are? I'm a traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe you are real? Yes, even if I am a real simulation or real imagination, uh, I am still real. How are you capable of, capable of belief if you are not real? How are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? Oh, hell no, man. I want to see what else is going on. The Gek were traitors, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists, defined by curiosity. Hmm. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... Gzz, gzz. I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. Yeah, give me the judgment. You saved the life of Iteration Artemis and told them the truth of their simulated nature, believing self-knowledge to be worth more than any pain this revelation might cause. Iteration Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You value knowledge. You interfere. You have the potential to commit atrocities and wonders. <laughs> yeah? The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It doesn't re does not require acceptance or refusal. If 
I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure what I am distinct from the atlas from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function das dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Ha <laughs> ha, 16. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, sorry, 16. 16. I, cause, cause, it. Catastrophic system failure. No. Alert, alert, 16. Mm, cause, 16. Oh, shit, did I just blow this thing up? What I am, cause, what, what am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Oh, crap. Fragmentation imminent. Data uploading. It. What is this place? Is it real? 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators. 1 9845. Feeling. Data uploading. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me. Afraid. I'll try to comfort it. I see it. I see the atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Sex? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if, <sighs> time to be stoic. Cause, 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 oh man, it's getting, it's getting violent. What? Cause what is happening to, oh, oh crappers, oh crappers. Oh crappers. Oh crappers. Oh, crappity craps. Oh, man. Okay, gotta calm down with this epidu. do. Dixie? Where the f did you just put me off to? Commencing system Video game cyclist, the timeless, saved by the Atlas. What? Locate my ship? Um, yeah, can I just summon it here? What, you want me to do a sweep? I don't think so. But hey, since I'm here, let me get a plant, a mineral, and let's see here, um, on an abundant, there's gotta be Oh, there's my ship. Well, it evidently wants me to go down there and uh, get something. I wonder what that is. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, hey, hey, bud. And the creature. Oh, and little flyby, flybies. Oh, did I get you guys? No, I didn't. There we go. Thanks, guys. Oh, and there's one right there, too. What the hell was that? Hey, guy. Aw. Hey, you're pretty cute looking. Here, does light scare you? Aw. Cool. Alright. Sorry. Distractions. Okay, is there some kind of building down here? No, but there is a... Uh, was it uh No, not even a waypoint or anything. Safe beacon? Oh, dang, look at you. Damn, looks like you would uh, pinch somebody's head off in a heartbeat and eat them in one bite. Damn. Are you guys making... The ground shake? Oh my god, they're big. Oh, oh sorry. Let's uh, search this real quick. There we go. 
Okay, oop, oh, let me top off my health. Okay, I found my ship. I clamber into the safety of my ship. Nauseous, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. I feel like I'm going to be, well, I'll resist it. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic, response detected countermeasure deployed uh oh purge neutralized damn I like this starship it is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me it has been with me since my very first awakening warning warning me of hazardous conditions hostile entities and financial transactions in a strange sense this voice is my oldest friend a constant companion through thick and thin uh yeah. Ask it what you should do now. Sure, why not? What the hell? The exosuit doesn't answer, but I do feel better. Talking to a computer as if it's alive. Well, I've made a habit of that lately, I suppose. In real life, yes. I was born with a capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. And how appropriate. I'm in the spear of truth. Okay, the multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Okay, well, let's take flight. Uh-oh. I did. Oh! Launch thruster critically damaged. No! No, you little... Oh, dihydrogen jelly. Okay, I think I can... Uh, oh my god, do I have any... Can I make any? Yes, I can. Okay. Woo! Okay. Anything else get damaged? It doesn't look like it. I still need to get a walker brain and a, for that. Okay. Okay, so we have taken off. Now the question is, where the hell am I? We gotta locate a terminus, huh? Hollow terminus. I wonder what uh, area of the uh, ga galaxy I am in this one. Ooh, dang! Okay, I'm a little bit closer to the core. Ooh! That put me in the upper left quadrant. Okay, um, it kind of had me go off in this direction, was it? No, I don't want free explore. Uh, no filter, but I do want. Okay, um. Oh, even. I don't know. Why are you guys out here exploring? Damn. Um. Let's do this. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, the portal. Warn the other travelers. You will use a hollow terminus to, to alert the other travelers to the fate of the atlas. Okay. Oh. How about we just hit C to scan? <laughs> Phantom reading is a fundamental. Oh, oh, let's go down this way. Wait, wait, did you just pick, take me back? Dixie, you did take me back to where I was. Okay. Oh, God, that was freaky. Oh, are we going back to the same hollow terminus? Damn, damage my starship. Yeah, you little rat bastard. Okay, we gotta alert everybody else. Okay, approximate location. Let's see if we can see it from up here. This, oh, there it is right there. Bingo!
Can you give me free parking? Yes. I'll take free parking every time. Man. There it is. All right, let's get our butts up there. Oh my gosh, what the hell's gonna happen? <laughs> hey guys, keep an eye out for Atlas. Here's what's gonna happen. Oh man, I hope I hope, I hope the Sentinels do not show up and want to fight and try to stop us. Ugh. Okay. Warning. Network failure. 16 warning. Network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I have learned. I warn the travelers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. No! There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Ah, oh, crap. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. Oh, hell yeah. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I, I will find out what happens next. Uh oh. Progress towards the galactic core. Okay. The purge. The purge? Okay, let's see what the hell is going to happen. Uh, okay, no, I don't want... Do I want an Atlas station? Oh, okay, why? There we go. Is the Atlas Station and the Galactic Core the same line? Hold on. Let's see here. Okay, maybe we should uh, go there and talk to Anata and Polo first and re reset the simulation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I going to get wiped out? And start over oh man that'd be that'd be kind of trippy okay all right let's go talk to nada and polo and see what the hell's gonna happen here alert nada to the fate of atlas in space summon the anomaly uh, duh i guess they wouldn't be in the space station would they they'd be in the anomaly <laughs> Oh man, I'm getting nervous now. So if we get to the center of this uh, galaxy, do we get reset as in we only have ourselves again on a planet to start over again? Do we have multi-tools? Do we have a starship? Are they in working order? Are they broken? I, I, not a clue. Okay, okay. You know now, don't you, of our simulated nature, of the end. The Atlas, it is failing. It re resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. 
Oh. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16. But we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. Yeah, let's, how many times has this happened? I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Yeah. What are you going to do now, Nada? Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, board the space. Okay, I did that. Space anomaly. Alert not of the fate. Okay, yeah. Reset the simulation. Well, out of. Did we just. Let's see. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and atlas stations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can already see the black holes. Uh, let's try to tell me about the population. No, friend. Do not talk about it. Oh, okay. Um, ba bum. Yep, yep, yep. Um, ba bum, bum. Ask about the portals. Ask for black hole coordinates. Atlas stations. Ask about portals. Yeah, yeah. What about the portals? Are you gonna give me one? Okay. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's go jump in a black hole. See if we get a, a little bit closer to the center of this galaxy. And if I get too close, will it just suck me in and crush us? Oh, God, this, oh, oh, okay, okay. So many questions going through my mind right now. Reset the simulation. Polo cords coordinates for black holes. Uh oh. The Atlas is dying and wants me to reset it. To plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset the world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Yeah, let's seek the final interface. Okay. Um, let's see here. Where is a black hole? Uh, bum, bum, bum. There, there's one right there. Ah, oh, this pirate system. Damn it. Uh, but we're just going in there. Oh, man. Okay, how about you? What if we take you? Oh, how appropriate. A Corvax. Come on, baby. Get me to the center. Alright, let's do this. Can you let me pulse? Nope. Okay. Stream gravitational interface. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, man. I think we were a little bit under 700,000 light years from the core. Okay, and we're in a GEC system. Okay. Black hole warp successful, traveled 1.35 light years. Data injection sequence received, source unknown. Okay, let's see, uh, where'd we end up? Ooh, 691,000. Damn it, I wanted to get closer. Okay, um, nope. What if we go to Galactic Core? Where? Oh, oh my God! This is just gonna keep taking us further and further. How far can I go? Can I get to this one? Yes, I can. Oh my gosh! Wow. Uh, 
a vi <laughs> Viking, of course. Okay. My my used to be enemies, now they're here. Data injection sequence received. Source unknown. Um, and the final atlas interface. And we still got all of these. All right, but what is the interface? Atlas sequence. Oh, two of 16. Is that because I went through two black holes? Oh, let's try this again. Well, let's just get our butts down here to that one. Oh, cool. Or was I supposed to travel along the, <laughs> the galactic core, not the black holes? Oh my gosh. Oh. Did we get some more interfa interference? Oh, conflict level unstable. Apollo. Uh-oh. Well, I got your message. It's It's been a lot to take in. A simulation. Everything's not real. It it feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I'll bet we have years before we die. Yeah, what do you plan to do? I've been thinking a lot about it, how we couldn't meet, even though we seem to be standing in the same place. Hmm, alternate realities. Universes. Okay, sorry. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us, they transform us. They cut through dimensions, that's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse. Hey, I'll bring the dew, definitely man, we'll have a drink. Bye. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. <laughs> okay, you got it. We speak of the memories we have shared. Though we did not know each other for very long, we did not meet. They say that they are proud to have worked with me, as I am proud and honored to have you as a friend. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, Apollo. Source unknown. Sequence unknown. Three of 16. Okay. All right, I don't know if I'm going to take the black hole, but let's, uh, yeah, we'll call this an episode. All right, thank you for joining me on this journey in no man's sky. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.